Let's go around here. In today's exciting episode, we dig holes under our house. Most of the piles that we've been putting under the house, we're just replacing the existing piles that were there. But we are adding one right about here. And that's because this beam that's going to go up there is going to take half of its weight onto this post. And the other half will be out there toward our new extension. So I've got to get the exact measurement so we put the post in the right place. Don't let me forget that. So this is the point here that I measured to. So this is the area here on the plans. New anchor pile under double stud above. That's it there. That is the size of the studs there. That sit above the sparrow. And you, well, I could confirm it by looking at the pattern in the floor nailing on these joists here, they change pattern. So yeah, on top of your measurements, you can look at things like that to confirm it. Now that we've got that, we plumb it down. This time, we have to dig a 900 mil deep post. What's it like out there? Oh. Day, Richard. Is, it, is the air fresh? It's beautiful. 20 degrees. Oh, delicious. No clouds. Can you hear the birds? <laughs> I can. <Yeah. laughs> oh, sub team. B team. These are the sorts of jobs you get in the B team. Awesome, eh? Bloody good jobs. Makes you question life and shit, you know? B for blossom. What am I doing? What am I doing under here? I mean, if we do a good enough job, Scott might even give us a free t-shirt. Scott has actually been under here and uh, dug some holes, but that's, I mean, that's his hole, probably a bit dark. This is hole just there, but... Yeah. Bait didn't finish it. He's half, half finished it, and then he's fucked off. That's, that's Scott down there. Look at all this headroom he's got. You can fly a jumbo through there. With daylight coming in, you can see the I'm under here working by candlelight. It's like oh, yeah. the goddamn great escape. <laughs> Hope is a dangerous thing in a place like this. Hope could drive a man insane. mils deep anchor pile and there are a few more anchor piles out here along this side all those posts that are going down the side that the guys are under the house digging um, they're all ordinary piles thankfully it's just that one point load there that's a anchor pile we've got some more anchor piles in the extension part and we're gonna start digging that soon but we're focusing on the ones under the house because we want to get that poured first because you know, the house is sort of propped up at the moment. We want to minimize that time. How's this one going, bro? It's yeah, just a, it's a 450, so it's nice and easy. Where is it? It's a slug. It's, it's a slug. Slug. Gross. Where are you going to put it? 
Pardo's lunchbox. <laughs> Five house piles. Ooh, hit me. There you go. You can see what we've done with the post there. See the top of it? It's got that wee chamfer on it. Well, you put that chamfer in uh, in case moisture sits on top of the post. It's probably not going to because it's very dry under there, but it's just uh, good practice. Anytime end grain's pointing up and it could be flat. Put a chamfer on it. Let's cut a bunch of posts, shall we? So Pato's measuring that post. And uh, he measures right down to the ground into the bearer. And then after that, you take 100 mil off so you get concrete under it. What's that, bro? 970. Got a series of battery saws here that we um, use to get that chamfer. It's not overly complicated. You get some gloves first. This stuff is heavily treated. So what we do here is we mark the center. There we go, the center. And then because the bearer is 100 mil wide, we measure out from the center, 50 mil each side. And that is the point where our little chamfer is gonna start. 45 degrees. And then that is what we cut off. There you have it. 100 mil bearer, goes from there to there. Chamfer, either side. This is a two-man job putting these posts on the holes. But uh, we've got some pretty heavy-duty screws to hold them in place. Little bugle screw there. Once we've screwed these posts up, then we'll be ready for the pour this afternoon. Right there. All right, to your, to your uh, left. Yep. Strong screws. Yep. Yep. Then we check it with the level as we're um, as we're pouring concrete around it. Yeah, what was our idometer like? Not too bad. Seemed pretty good. Oh, it's not yeah, too bad. Off, but... Slightly this way. There you go. Perfect. Voila. That's perfect this way. We're pretty good, eh? Oh, it's better than pretty good, bro. Come on. You can see the chamfer in all its glory now. Hey, hey, hey. So there you go. So any moisture that hits on that, it just goes down rather than, you know, eating away at the end grain. Nothing like a good chamfer Oh, nothing like a beautiful chamfer, Pato. <laughs> this here, you see the rough texture of this beam. So Cody timber is uh, native timber here in New Zealand. It, it grows for like a hundred years and some of them are ginormous. Swamp Cody. Incredible. So sorry, that's one And uh, Back in the day they used to build houses with them here in New Zealand and these bearers are pit sawn which means You know the old school photos of one guy on the end of the saw and one guy on the other end of the saw one of those And they'd put the log over a pit and one guy would be in the pit and one guy would be above it And they'd go up and down then they would rip the length of the log and that's why it's all textured in that way You see that in the, in the joists as well Solid stuff man and we've got a concrete pump. A lot of concrete going under there. It's a bit awkward trying to get under the house with buckets and all the rest of it. So we've got a pump that does the hard work for us. Yeah. <laughs> Just go all the way to the last hole, Joe. I want to go down as well. Yeah. We're going in. Yeah. 
There you go, that's why we call it the B camera. Just finished the concrete pour. Very exciting. Hey! That was it? Might need to do a slow motion replay on that one. Hey! There it is. <laughs> I just missed it. It's like, where's my f***ing spoon in, bro? Does that help, Richard? It's like, a, it's like that scene from Ghost, bro. You just reach around and like help me push the drill through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Patrick, like Demi Moore and f***ing... <laughs> <laughs>